All right, uh, so <clears throat> my my boyfriend has been kind of like I I don't really know he's just been off and uh, I just I came home early to see if uh, he was doing anything and uh, I think I fucking caught him so let's find this. Ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah. No. Ah uh, no, yeah. babe. Oh f oh no no. Babe, I, th uh, I no. thought we had something, babe. Not this. Why? This not Why would you babe? do this Come to on. me? Listen, 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 babe. You're gay. What? I'm not gay. You're gay. Yeah. I'm gay. Well, you were gay. Wait. So, so I'm not gay. Well, I, I recently decided to become a woman. No. Wait. Wait. wait so no, I still got a dick. I just feel like being a woman right now. Uh. So you're not. You're not. A, you're not a man. You. You're a woman. Well. Yeah. You're gay. I'm so, a man. Uh. I. Was a man. Am I supposed to be sad? So you were gay, but now you're not because I feel like being a woman. Well, what the fuck is that? Well, what this? Yeah, this is just you. This is this is when you were gay. You're what? not gay anymore. I wasn't gay. Well, that, now at you that are time because I was it turned back woman. into a man. But no, you're pretty fucking no, gay. You were a so man. I like I like no. the gay because uh, I was having am sex. I, am with I sad? This. Should I be sad right now? Your dick's small. What? Your dick's small, man. What? I I can't. I just can't deal with it. What? I'm a woman now. Your dick's just small. I'm only a man when I say I'm a man. I'm a woman. Damn it! Look at my hair. Look at my hair. I'm a woman. Okay. Look at your hair. Oh, shit. We're, we're women. We're lesbians shit. together. That's what when this is. When was I a woman? When did I turn into a woman? God. Hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Reality Check. The fuck's wrong with the hair? She's a fucking lesbian, mate. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this riveting show riddled with intensely sad music and a host who I could only compare to a robot who could only use one expression, and that expression is just looking very concerned. You know, like with your eyebrows, like, kind of going up, like... Y yeah? The show was basically a professionally put together Instagram video. Because, I mean, all that happens is they find out that someone cheats on someone, which is a lot of Instagram videos. A lot of Instagram videos. But everyone, I know I have to answer this question in every single episode, but you should already know the answer to all these. Is it real? No! No reality show is real! It's not real! But this show actually has tons of fucking articles stating that it's not real. Even the executive producer came forward to say this in an interview. Guerrero asked Goldstein, we've been watching the show and it has come to our attention that in several of the episodes, these are not real people in real relationships. They are people who have in fact been coached and the fights have been choreographed and it's fake. What do you have to say to that? Nothing, said the producer. Do you owe the audience the truth? I owe my audience 43 minutes of entertaining amusement on a subject matter that's important to them, and that's what I owe them. Do you guys feel like you cheated the viewers of Cheaters by faking this? No, because we put on such a good show, the majority of people didn't realize it was fake. So basically what he's saying is he just wanted to make something entertaining. He didn't give a shit if he was lying to millions of people. There lies the issue with these kind of shows. I have a huge problem with these shows because me personally, like, I don't get uh, give a shit if you do a fictional show, if you do a fictional, re like, who fucking cares? But to lie to people, to manipulate people in order to think that it's real so you would get more viewers in order to get more money, I just, it's just not, it's shitty. That's just what it is. It's just shit. And I mean, I'm sure all of you guys know what I'm talking about because that happens so fucking much on YouTube. like every day by so many different content creators just manipulating their audience and making people think that what is happening in their life is real when you're reading a book you know it's fiction you know it's a biography but reality shows is a fictional book that is listed under a biography it's just shitty now let's go ahead and and go into this shit show and uh, watch it together i'm going to be watching a new episode with you guys i already watched a few but i'm going to be watching a new one with you guys so we could experience the terror together uh, let's go for 15 years elizabeth green makes many a sacrifice for her devoted relationship she willingly supports her husband in all his artistic endeavors however due to her man's recent interest in nude sculpturing elizabeth now feels neglected see what i mean he didn't have any other expression but his eyebrows going this way just 
this is what's happening on Cheaters today. I, I have these hand movements listed on my script. I'm just going to follow each hand movement as my script goes along. I am done speaking now. Well, Johnny and I have been together for 15 years, married. Um, I would say in the last six months, things have really drastically changed in our relationship. No, I drastically changed. Is he cheating? Is he cheating on you on a show called Cheaters? No way! That's not gonna happen! Very into doing um, nude sculptures. Nude sculpt? Oh god, no, he's banging the nudist. He's banging the new girl that he's sculpting. Sh show's already over, guys. I already figured out what the fuck's gonna happen. Looking for models, spending a lot of time doing it. He took a class. Since then, our relationship has become very distant. Okay, in, in every episode I've seen, distant is always the word that's there we we just we just seem really distant we're just he, neglect and distant we just he's just ne neglecting me we're distant and uh and we're distant age 38 an artist suspected of doing more than just gazing at his nude model Cheaters agents keep watch for the suspect's appearance. Here's where I'm like, can they, are they allowed to do this? Are they allowed, can they legally have a contract where they could spy on random people? That is my only, that is like a huge like open hole in this whole show because is it, is it legal for them to just spy on people? Like, I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm actually curious. Because that, that doesn't seem like you could just be like, oh, let me get a bunch of night vision cameras and just follow this person around all day. It doesn't seem legal. Shift, an unknown female arrives and goes inside. See, I personally don't know how people find entertainment in this show because we get it. Oh, they cheat on each other. whoop de doo The game's over. You already know. That's the girl. Like, in the first minute and 13 seconds, I already know what's going to fucking happen. ...the studio at the end of the day. They hop into the woman's vehicle and drive off. A mobile tail follows the pair across town to a coffee shop. And they enter the building. He entered the building. And then also entered her. It was that I brought up wanting to have a family. Not the family. Not the family car. No. That just added an extra heap of sadness on top of this, not the family. Why don't you confront your husband? Quit being a little bitch. Like, okay, I'm, I'm speaking hypothetical. If this is real life, quit being a little baby bitch and go up to your husband and fucking confront him. That's it. You don't need an entire investigation team to go find out that he's cheating on you. Get up in his face. Tell him what's up. Let, let, just, just quit being a baby. After a while, the friendly pair make their way back to the vehicle. However, the innocent cafe visit takes a U-turn when the suspect kisses his companion. No! They kissed each other! Oh God, it's getting worse by the second. Are we going to watch them have sex? Is, is that what's going to happen in this episode? Are we going to watch them? Are we going to watch them... Fuck. I'm, I'm paying for all the supplies. And she's paying for the supplies. Can this get any sadder? Can we add another heap of sadness on top of this to make the, the impact of her finding out that he's cheating on her a lot more impactful so the views will go up a little bit? Add some more. Why, why, not, why not give her a, a, a retarded child that loves his father so much and will, will die if he finds out that he's cheating on her? Investigation day four. Waiting for additional intel in the case, Cheaters agents continue the stakeout of the art studio. In the morning, a dark vehicle pulls up in front of the studio door, and the unknown female- Enhance that image! Valence, now identified as Cat, been haired model- Enhance that image! Knocks on the door. This woman, apparently the suspect's nude model, shucks off her dress and her undergarments. Green Ooh, did you hear that nasty fucking solo? Hear that? Under, 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 under. 
in there. That is green, that green, was a under, nasty under, guitar under, solo, under, bro. Under, that green, under, man, under, that green, turned me on. Green, and a lingering kiss. He finishes greeting her with a pat on the rump. Oh no, they're Finally gonna bang! Finally getting to work, Cat strips to the buff and gets into position on her pedestal. Cat lies back as the suspect joins her on the sofa. Okay, now, not only are they spying on them, they're, without their permission, recording them basically doing it. Oh daddy, here comes Mr. Eyebrows. Having garnered substantial evidence of an ongoing affair, Cheater summons Elizabeth to a viewing of the dastardly deeds. Gathering her strength and subduing her fears, she collects her feelings before receiving the truth. Like, this guy can't be real. This guy has to be fake. Are you fucking kidding me? This is what's happening in the situation. She's gathered her feelings, and now she's going to confront the man. Elizabeth, I just want to say thank you for coming out today. As you know, we did conduct our investigation and came up with some rather interesting findings. Now, my question for you is, are you prepared? See, look, even just while he's just talking to her, he just got that face. On this day of investigation, we are outside the studio. This unknown female arrives, gets out of her vehicle, walks up to the door. Johnny greets her with a hug and gives her a kiss. After a few kisses and a slap on the butt, the woman takes a look at the sculpture, takes off all of her clothes. Johnny puts her up on that pedestal and begins sculpting. After finishing up the sculpture, Johnny then sits down across from this naked woman. They begin to kiss. Oh my God. Johnny oh. then proceeds to get on top of her while she is nude on the couch. Oh. The unknown woman then turns around as Johnny massages her lower back and her lower extremities. Okay, this guy literally just like laid a huge fucking nuke on this woman's life. And he's just, then he starts rubbing her legs. Then they start making out. Then they start rubbing each other. Then he gets on top of her naked body. And that's what happens. How, how how is this show done well? That's what I'm... Because this show did well. How how did the show do so well with a man who's the host, who has the personality of a fucking rock? Listen, I understand this is very, very hard to see this type of stuff. I know exactly where they are. They're at a studio. Right now? Right now. So we can get in the vans, get going. But my question for you is, are you ready to confront him? Yes, I'm ready. Let's... Okay, they're at the studio. We made sure it's the exact time that they're they're going to be fucking. They're going to be naked, all right? Because because I I can guarantee when they walk in there they'll be naked because that is what will get the, the the shock factor going, guys. They'll be naked, I promise. Ready for this shit? You ready to see some naked naked people? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so emotional. Fuck, I can't handle this shit. That's too much. No, she's never seen the sculpture. Oh my god. You yeah. think I should He's just so nonchalant. Yeah. He never showed her the sculpture. Yeah. Was this sculpture right here based on, on your on your body? I was modeling for this guy and he said So this mold right here is of your body, right? So so, so I can take this home? He wouldn't mind? I could, I could cut a hole in it, right? He wouldn't mind, right? Sexual intercourse with this man? I don't think that's anyone's business right now because I don't know what the f is going on. Well, I mean, it kind of is my business because I have it on camera. He just admitted that he was spying on them having sex. Who in the right mind would think this is real or legal? Okay, not only like the whole spying on people and all that shit doesn't seem right, but also, why would someone want that type of moment on television? Like of her like bawling her eyes out, screaming at her husband that he cheated on her. Who would want that on television? No one. And then of course, the, the wonderful conclusion to these episodes, will, will it work? Will they stay together? Let me, let me give a little bit of advice to anyone 
anywhere in the world. If you're dating someone and they cheat on you, it's that's it. It boom bam, you're done. Because if they cheat on you once, they'll cheat on you 27 times, all right? Regardless, the show's completely fake. I was just kind of trying to explain that people who believe it's real, how do you believe it's real? Thanks for watching this episode of Reality Check. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I released uh, the Pig album for 100,000 subscribers. I, I see a lot of you guys enjoyed that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp. Whatever you think of, it'll be there. So if you guys wanna get that, go ahead and get that. Also, videos will start coming back a lot faster now because I'm done with the album, so I have a lot more free time, so I'm gonna be working really hard and making more videos for all you wonderful people. Thank you again for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for just watching my videos. Uh, gotta give you, gotta give you, gotta give you a fucking gay ass kiss at the end. Uh, also, before you guys go, oh, what's that? You want this shirt? Go to bioticpig.com and get your shirt. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Um, you want, you want this poster? You you want this poster? Go to bioticpig.com and get this poster. Or this shirt, or a uh, fuck. I don't know where my hat went. Um, no, same, you can seriously. get you, there's stuff there. Like, I, I, I Go buy my I merch. God, it's not that hard. Fuck it.